technology mechanism came into being because countries increasingly recognised that if you're going to deal with climate change, then you need to actually beef up the numbers of technologies, the penetration of technologies, and the geographical spread of technologies around the world. Today at the Paris Climate Change Talks, the UNFCCC provided an update on the technology mechanism and its two major components, the Technology Executive Committee and the Climate Technology Center and Network. The Technology Executive Committee and the UNFCCC uh, is, has a purpose, especially the aim to provide a policy and strategic guidance to developing countries regarding the technology support area. Kunihiko Shimada, chair of the tech, presented on key achievements to date. And we've been also uh, issuing and publishing um, some kind of a tech briefs, which is a policy briefs uh, on the specific topics related to technology. And also the tech provides a policy um, kind of advice to the parties and also to the uh, institutions uh, under and outside of the convention. Now the tech has the much open, I, I would say the wider window for the participation from the key stakeholders. So now the tech meetings are open for the uh, observers on site, but also like uh, virtually on the internet. Currently the tech is uh, uh, in the process of identifying issues which what we should work for the next two years to come with the 2016 and 17 and uh, if the Paris Agreement and also the COP decisions made here in Paris uh, request the tech and the CTC and especially the tech side because this is a policy body uh, to take some actions or conduct the, some policy research and analysis uh, we are standing ready to take up the, these uh, assignments and also requests and they respond back to the parties as soon as possible. Many people who have been negotiating the agreements under the UN Framework Convention, many delegates, have actually not been aware of the, the rich array of policies that are actually possible in order to make this kind of transition that they need. And I think the technology mechanism, as I mentioned, has acted as a way, as a sort of conduit to bring those ideas through. The CTCN is the Climate Technology Centre and Network. It's the Operation Alarm of the UNFCCC technology mechanism. So really it exists for parties to respond to their needs with regard to technology development. That technology could be adaptation or could it be in mitigation technologies. So the CTCN role is about bridging the gap between projects that are project ideas and the implementation of those projects. So it sees a core role for itself with regard to providing technical assistance and capacity building training to help a country move a project idea into project implementation so it can get financing. The first thing to focus on is the needs of the countries, the developing country parties and the national designated entities that are now within each of those countries. Those entities that exist, whether you're in Africa, whether you're in Asia, whether you're in Latin America, whether you're in an island nation, whether you're a landlocked nation, they need continued and sustained support to assist their countries, their institutions, to assist them in developing technology action plans, to assist them in developing NAPs. What generally needs within this system is um, countries to be prepared to um, make the submissions linked to their technology needs assessments. The CTCN director emphasized the role of the private sector. We are going to have a, a, a serious private sector forums next year where we try to match the needs of the developing countries with the supply of the private sector on technologies. When you do cooperative research, development and demonstration among countries, from developed countries or industrial countries together, working together with uh, developing countries, what you do, what you get is